Oh, yeah. Pretty good. How are you doing? Susie, do you see the front of the program? Well, I've got Dr. Lang. How are you doing? Good. Good. So, uh, you know, I'm going to talk before you. This is Daniel Steer from London. Hey, and, uh, nice to meet you. Yeah. Play your attic when you take your watch and you know what's happening? I'm on Nicholas Steer. Yeah. Uh, no, the Nicholas will be alright. He's tall. Oh, actually, we're doing this one, right? You don't have this? Yeah. You bet, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there a few, few things to take for? Cool. Um, so I guess the first thing I want to ask you is, was there a point when you were a kid when you suddenly realized I could be a major league golfer? Well, definitely. That was my dream. Uh -huh. You know, I just playing a big, I come from a big family that loves mm -hmm. sport and, uh, you know, just, uh, Gotta give me a billion of the talents, you know, to, to play this way. And, uh, I just took advantage, I guess. Mm -hmm. I also need to put my percent in it. And uh, I work very really hard for it. And I uh, try to get better. I know that at least at one point, you were getting up at 6.30 in the morning every day oh, in the definitely. off season. You're still doing that? Definitely, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I still, I mean, right now, sometimes I wake up at 7, 7.30 <laughs> because I got my own workout room in the house. And, you know, whenever I feel a little tired and I want to get some more rest, I wake up a little later and, and got the advantage to work out in my, in my room. But definitely, you know, I, I think first thing in the morning, I, I like to work out and get it, get it over with and have the rest of the day, you know, to, to spend time with the family. But how many hours is the workout? Three and a half. I mean, between between two and a half and three, depends. When I start eating, it could be a little bit longer, but mm -hmm. uh, definitely two and a half at least. Are you superstitious at all? No. 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 Um, I'm not superstitious. I'm very very blessed, very, very blessed, and uh, I just take that as my goal. And that's it, I work extra hard this year because uh, I won the MVP last year, but that was last year, and my goals that I want to reach is uh, it's a world, world Series and world, be a world champion, you know, and wear that ring, and hopefully bring that opportunity to San Louis, you know, the, the, the world champion ring, and, and that's my goal. Those are the goals, and help my team out to win. And uh, that's why I work hard in the all season. I don't think, I think if you can hit, you can go out there with a broomstick and get a hit. So I don't believe a, I don't believe a lot on the bat. Of course, you want to feel good with the with the bats, you know. But I sweep. I've been switching. Uh, I've been hitting with the sand bats since 2001, and I always switch to Louisville. So whatever feels good to me, that's what I go out there and I play. And I don't like to say I'm not really superstitious. Were you aware of Babe Ruth growing up? Was it a name that was familiar to you? Were his achievements familiar to you at all? I mean, I always heard it growing up, but. I wasn't really into or paying attention about it, you know, until I started reading books, baseball books. Please don't hit this. <laughs> it's, it's, the, it's the magnetic sensor that knows where these things all are. Um, so what I'm going to have you do is pretend... Yes, sir, nice and easy. Yeah, just do it. We'll, we'll like do a few of them, so we just want to do a couple nice and easy, then you can, yeah, we can I'm build up to your... I don't know if I get enough my swing. Do you need to be closer? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my chair's over there, so you can... Sure. Well, I don't know. <laughs> what kind of speed of the bat is? You want to? Yeah. I mean, I'm, right now I'm swinging that hard because my back is killing me, so... Right. You're probably still swing faster than me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my stand like this? Oh, my stands? Yeah. Yeah, I'm totally good. Yeah, that's great. That's the best. Just hold it there. Right, you Thank you. 
Yes. Three more. Eyes closed. Yeah. Right. So I wonder if I could ask you also, are there special things you do with the plate to focus? Any kind of exercises to, you know, just before you step into the batter's box to uh, get your concentration going? Yeah, not really. I mean, all I try to do is just concentrate at the ball and... Need a few hairs. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> just try, you know, concentrate on the ball and then release the ball and... You know, and then try to pull my best swing. I mean, you okay. only have, I mean, a second before that you make contact. And you, know, you want to make sure that you don't think too much about what you need to do. When you're right there at the play, it's just you and that pitcher. And you want to make sure you stay focused at the ball and then put a good swing. People talk a lot about your ability to make adjustments during the game. It's one of the things that really distinguishes you as a great hitter. But I was wondering if you could talk a little bit about what, what's involved, what that means exactly to make an adjustment. Well, I think to me, making adjustments is the most important thing because, I mean, that's that's what's going to keep you in the game. That's what's going to survive. I mean, the big leagues, it's, it's nothing better than this. It's not like you need to go to the next level. Um, you need to take this game to the next level, and that's what I try to do. I mean, I just want to be in the big leagues. I don't care where I play. I don't care where I hit in the lineup. I just want to be in the lineup and be happy about it.